Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hi guys, today I'm bringing you to another segment of the Android Guy, FYI. And today's segment is the difference between a launcher and rooting on Android. Now these are two technical terms, um, and I just wanted to clarify what these are exactly, because they can be a bit confusing if you just hear them and like, well, what does that do, or what does that do? What am I doing to my phone, or my tablet? Uh, so let me explain the differences. Uh, rooting is a process uh, where you connect uh, the um, tablet or phone to a computer and completely change the entire interface as well as um, as well as the kind of backbone of the phone or device. So uh, for instance, you can actually change not only the look of the phone, but you can have it so that gestures, like a gesture of moving your uh, two, two fingers up does something. Or uh, give you control over things you didn't before. So I can speed the processor up from a 1 gigahertz processor to a 1.5 gigahertz processor. Um, it's called, that, that term is called overclocking, by the way, when you speed up the processor past what it normally is clocked at, overclocking. Um, so, rooting allows you to have access like that. Rooting also allows you to do certain things like, say, if your carrier does not allow you to have a hotspot app, rooting will allow you to do that. It super, it oversees it, um, so that it has a loophole around it. Um, so things like that is what rooting can do. It completely changes your phone and allows you to, uh, uh limitless, uh, possibilities. Now, rooting is also, um, the thing that sometimes when you hear bricking a phone. Bricking a phone means the phone is a brick. It is useless. It does not turn on, or it doesn't work, or something or other. Um, now, I have never uh, bricked a phone or tablet when I have uh, rooted. Um, now, when something doesn't work properly, it is because of the ROM you chose. Now, when you root, you install a ROM. ROM is the entire interface um, and what someone has taken from a pre-made Android package and how they changed it um, because certain people like those specifications. So um, sometimes you want to root because you do not like uh, TouchWiz, say, or HTC Sense. Those are interfaces um, that change the way things look. Well. Some people that are uh, called purist uh, like Google stock. I don't want anything from Samsung. I don't want anything for HTC, Sony, you know, LG. I don't. I don't like these interfaces that they put on. I just want stock Google. Well, um, a ROM can make that happen. So I can get a jelly bean ROM or a ice cream sandwich ROM, Android 4.0 or 4.1, and put that on my device. So um, the, the problem that sometimes happens is ROMs are made by people, just regular people, or sometimes development teams. And uh, what happens is that they don't plan for every single thing that you, the user, can do. So for instance, um, say you uh, are using an app that they did not uh, test with uh, to make sure it worked on the ROM. Well, maybe it might crash on the ROM then. or uh, maybe they didn't test it out um, the antenna in certain areas. So, and for some reason, your area is different from other areas that they tested in. Well, then it might again something might go wrong. Or um, they made it compatible with everything except when you use this camera feature, then that camera feature causes the camera app to crash. So this is uh, what a ROM is. And uh, because of the nature of a ROM, that they don't guess every single thing you're going to be doing, uh, there are updates to ROMs to fix bugs, um, like the ones I was describing. And that is what a um, that is what rooting is, and rooting to put a ROM on your device. Now, um, there's lots of different ROMs out there. Uh, they're based on the people that buy them and create these uh, lovely ROMs for us. So uh, that's what rooting in a ROM is. Now, a launcher is a light version of a ROM, or uh, a light version of rooting. Um, it does not take command over uh, the aspects like rooting does. So, uh, a launcher cannot change a hotspot, 
uh, a hotspot priority. It also cannot uh, do certain things such as um, oversee uh, overclocking your processor. A launcher cannot do these things. It does not have full control or access. It's still using the same access that comes with your phone. However, a ROM changes the look of your device. So this is why um, people really like Android because you can customize it without having uh, any kind of issues if you choose uh, not to. So for instance, um, although I have a Samsung Galaxy S3, this Galaxy S3 will look much different from most. The reason is is because I have a ROM on here called Nova Launcher. So for one, normally Galaxy S3 doesn't have uh, this many rows. The Galaxy S3 also does not normally have the Google uh, search at the top. Also, the folders look different. These are actually the folders that uh, how the Galaxy S3 will look like in Jelly Bean. So this is the appearance that has changed uh, with this device. So, and also even the animation from swiping from side to side has changed. It's a different uh, swiping animation, and you'll notice it more so on the app uh, drawer. The app drawer is going to look like a Nexus device because that's the animation that I like the most. Oops, um, and what I chose for it. Now, certain ROMs like this one also allow you to do gestures. Um, so, for instance, when I put two fingers and I uh, touch the screen up, what it does is it launches the task manager. So I really like this because I can, you know, just launch the task manager quick. And I was using a lot of RAM, and now I cleared it so now I'm not using that much RAM so uh, things like this are really nice and uh, the thing about uh, ROMs uh, um, as opposed to ROMs which you know completely take over and change everything a launcher you can always go back to the original so that's important to know so if I put two fingers down it's going to go back to stock touch widths. and now I just launched or uh, yeah, launched like an, like you're launching an app. I launched regular TouchWiz. So this, this is what regular TouchWiz looks like. You know, regular TouchWiz, and even again, the animation is a little different in comparison. And this is what the Nova Launcher I have on here uh, looks like, which there's at the bottom, Nova Launcher. So that's it right there. Try to do a little focus. So can... There you go, Nova Launcher. And that will then bring me back to this way. So uh, this is the difference between a launcher and a, a routing, which um, installs a ROM. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, launchers uh, don't change everything, but they make uh, the appearance different. And sometimes can add certain things, like this one adds gestures, or a certain amount of rows, or things like that. Like there are launchers to even make your Android phone look like an iPhone or a Windows phone. Um, these are different uh, types of launchers, so if you wanted to test out, see how it looks like, feel free. Um, launchers are generally more so for phones. There are a few out there for tablets that are actually made for tablets. Um, some of them are new, like the Chameleon, I believe it's called. That one's a $10, uh, so launchers also sometimes cost money. Uh, that one's a $10 launcher that is pretty cool looking, very different, uh, very different from Android. I have not tested it out yet, but I plan on uh, testing out for you guys to tell you what I think. Um, so launchers are very different and they can change the aspect of a look. I know one launcher for a tablet even makes it look like a MacBook Pro. So it really, they're, they're very different and um, they just bring uh, customiza more customization to users um, on Android. Now one thing I want to warn people though about launchers uh, before we look at, before I close this is simply that launchers use more memory and RAM. The reason why I have a launcher on my Galaxy S3 is because it has two gigs of RAM, so it runs it very well. However, if I had an older device, I might not want to use a launcher because it's going to slow it down. A launcher will all will generally always be slower. Generally, there are exceptions. Will generally always be slower than the stock. Um, device itself and especially if you have an older device I would not recommend getting a launcher because it's going to slow it down and there's some cool ones like go you know uh, go pro and all those kind of things 
and all these other ones, but they're just they just really slow it down more so. And what I've told when I've seen people have issues with their phones, it's usually because they had a launcher and they had a very older phone that just slowed it down. Now, one thing I just wanted to point out. Look, the launcher I'm using right now uses about a gig itself, um, and usually when I'm running other things behind it, it goes up to 1.3. So it, it really does use a lot of RAM, and I just wanted to let you guys know that. So before you get into launchers or anything like that, make sure that you know your phone is able to do it. I wouldn't just jump into it. All right, guys. So that has been uh, the Android guy, FYI, and explain the difference between launchers and uh, rooting and having a ROM. If you have any other questions about it, uh, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.